love, your thoughts, your knots, your kinks and flaws, and the way you pause between points. The way your mind is double jointed like you think this but understand that and I love how you don't turn your back on your friends. I love how you don't pretend, you just say what you mean and what you meant. I love how you're real, you feel, and even though you're reluctant and you want to act like you don't hurt sometimes. If I ask, I know you look me in the eyes and say, yeah, I get depressed sometimes. You don't let your pride choke you on the way down when you swallow it. You understand values, none of that hollow shit. You breathe in life and you exhale knowledge. You are forever learning even if you don't agree with college and I love that. You're an educated and I don't like this word but nigga. And you shoot off wisdom like your tongue's a trigger. You are the epitome of a man. A guy who treats his girl sweet, his mama like a queen and takes his grandmama to the movies. You're family oriented and a good big brother and isn't the type to stack up baby mothers. A guy that thinks before he speaks and when he does he can make a girl's knees weak. I've always believed in you and you believed in me and nothing is truer than a man who encourages a girl to succeed even without wetting his beak a little. No matter how brittle or easy a riddle it would be to trick me into giving you anything you need. You put me first. You gave me such a thirst to never give up and to always be better and whatever happened you kept that in mind and I rewinded all the time. You said I had worth and that I was so cute that it hurt. I may be paraphrasing, but you made me feel like if no one has, I'd probably be the first to change ignorant ways of thinking without blinking. You make me laugh until my ribs feel like they're about to crack. I can't get enough of that. Now thinking back, you're one of the only real friends I've ever had. It's sad because I'm on the west and you're on the east and we've been friends since we were about 15 and still never met and that's absurd to say the least, but we feasted on each other's minds and spent our late nights and early mornings online and we always found the time. We roamed different streets, we slept in our own sheets, but we had a world together and I'll remember it forever like everything down to how you laughed at the weather here when we were getting snow before winter and you were over there getting splinters from lawn chairs. I never thought it was fair, but you made it easy to laugh at. You were the bright side of everything, and you were all I could ask for had I wanted you to begin with. But you became the only one who I wanted to sin with. We were like peas in a pod, and I swear to God, you didn't leave my mind for more than moments at a time. I loved damn near everything about you, even the way you taunted me because you flaunted me, and everything I never knew was bottled up in your personality, and you challenged me. And now I can finally understand that statement about life and how friends are either for a season, a reason, a lesson, or a blessing. And you are each one.